Hello guys, this is Evan Plays, and um, I'm gonna do a review on the Leopard One. Um, I haven't spaded it or haven't um, got all the upgrades yet, but I have a kind of an understanding of how you play it. Um, I just went over the armor there, and this thing has zero armor at this BR, so you can't really rely on its armor at all. So you just kinda gotta be fast and you have a good shell so it um it works out and um i have the m48 as a backup and i haven't gone that far in the german air tree so 262 is gonna do just fine so i'm probably not gonna go for the point i'm probably just gonna go <clears throat> sorry go for the um the middle of the map where that um Built big building is and just hang around there. Um, and it looks like a down tier, so I'm gonna try to just use my speed and get places where they're not gonna know I'm there. This thing does have a heat FS round um, that you can unlock. I haven't um, unlocked it, obviously, but I'm going to use a Sabo, which does um, just fine. But if I did unlock the heat FS, I'd probably be using that mainly. But I would bring some Sabo in as well, just in case it's really um, like like how it is on this map, where there's a bunch of um, gates and. Um, fences and stone st um, structures and trees because he has to get stopped by that so you'd want to have Sabo's backup or as your primary and then load in your HFS to finish them off but yeah I see someone smoked off here and I figured uh, or I just saw they break down that wooden fence or the gate so I figured you I would see them um, going across but I never saw them, so, yeah. And this vehicle does have um, decent gun depression, so you can um, go on hills, um, unlike, like, Russian tanks or so. And I do spot a dude here. Um, it's an AVRE, and they're kind of tough to crack, but... I got his breach and his um, commander, so thought I'd shoot another shell, but got his driver. As you can tell, this shell just eats right through him, but he does get his driver up um, before I can finish him, so he goes back into cover. I do take him out later on. Yeah, this um, tank also gets a pretty good set of machine guns. They're not high caliber, but they're high fire rate um, for dealing with aircraft or some. It's or helicopters mostly. Uh, is this thing face? In an up tier, it would face helicopters, but um, not often do you face helicopters. But yeah, I'm trying to chase down this um, AVRE, but it's. It's going into a pretty uh, bad spot for me if I was just gonna go in and get it. So I try to I try to cut through and um, go up this does um, stairway, and then I end up um, able to shoot all these um, these tanks, and they don't even know I'm there until it's too late. But they're just not even paying attention to me. I thought it's kind of, it was kind of weird. There's the AVRE. I'm I'm try to focus on him, but he's he's behind that barrier. So once I uh, he moves up, but then he moves back, so it's kind of annoying. But yeah, the um, I shoot the ground, but the 
this thing is it, it's it's a mobile platform, so you kind of want to just scoot and sh um, shoot and scoot. Kind of, you just want to keep moving. Um, don't be too aggressive because it's got no armor, like I said. But um, yeah, it's it's a really good tank. Yeah, even without heat effects, it just ate right through that. It is a down tier, but still, the Sabo is super good. And then there's a uh, ghost shell love those I probably should be going for the other dude but I figure I could just take him out and then that um, centurion it would be easy um, kill I don't know whether I took his kill or not but it looked like there were only one or maybe two crew were down so I wanted to um, take care of the deal there and there's a um, I think it's like a Persian of some sort over here So I mark it for the teammate, but he doesn't he doesn't ever come, so and I'm, I'm playing. This thing is uh very um bad if a plane tries to go at you. I'm surprised I survived that bomb, but yeah, just if a plane's coming at you, you just expect you're gonna die most of the time. And then this guy it was great teamwork there. If he would have killed him even if I didn't shoot, but yeah, he got him. And then this uh, Persian, and it does nothing. But he shoots for some random reason. I don't know why he shoots. And then he backs up too. An easy kill there. Takes out all his crew. And then I don't know how that missed me. I, I'm expecting that it hit the somehow. It, I think it must have been a ghost shell or something. I tried to use my machine guns to no avail, but it's worth a try. I did get a hit. <laughs> and the, there's gonna be another guy, yep, that, um, that Soviet tank. And, um, and I, I think I see a dude. And then it takes me too long to get him. No, it's, that's later on, sorry. I moved down. Because I feel like I got good cover from the, the T-54 to my right. Because he's up there. So then I I move forward. It's, it is spawn camping. But, you know, it's we have total control of the map. And then I go here. Try to get this kill. And I take too long. And I go to him. And I get hit by a T-95. Or a T-92. And then I mark... And the dude doesn't kill him or anything. It's kind of an irrit irritating, but yeah, this this tank has no armor. It's fast. It's got good firepower, and um, yeah, it's a it's a really good tank. I if if you're thinking of uh, well, you're gonna get it if you're researching the German tech tree ground anyway. Um, to the leopards, but yeah, it's I would totally get it and research it, it's definitely worth the grind to get it, and yeah, if you like this kind of tutorial gameplay thing, uh, hit the like button, to, um, subscribe, comment what vehicle or what I should do better.